In 2021, Southeast University men's tennis team reached new heights with their season accomplishments. We went from being ranked out of the top 25 and barely receiving votes to beating teams who had never been in before. Yeah, this is the biggest win we've had in our school history. So. Reaching the Sun Conference final for the first time and qualifying for the NAIA Nationals tournament in Alabama, also for the very first time. We started the year with one very simple and very clear goal in mind to establish ourselves as a top NAIA tennis team. And despite the inevitable ups and downs of a long college tennis season, we finished at number 18 in the nation according to the final coaches pool of the year. And during the 2022 season, the expectations were for even stronger results with the addition of six new guys in the roster. I think we're a bit more talented this, this year. I think we have guys with more experience too, especially since we've brought in some more students that are master students who have played three, four years of college tennis already. You know, now we were kind of like in a position where we had to deliver, you know, now we're in a position where, we, where we, we're not hunting anymore. We're like kind of the ones that are being hunted. When I got here, our goals, it was to make conference and it was getting bigger, bigger the goals and all the, the things that we were working for. And last year, yeah, we made nationals, but I'll say 100% is not to make national this year, it's actually to, to win nationals, to go win everything that we play. We started the year with one very simple and very clear goal in mind, to go even further than the past year. For this year, we had big objectives. We already talked about that in the beginning of the season to uh, reach uh, better results than last year. And then this year, we are feeling more confident. I feel the guys are feeling more confident in doubles. They match up very good, Roy and Fab, Victor and Diego. And we didn't have them on the, on the roster last year. And Victor and Diego, they're freshmen. They're, they're being, playing very good, very, very good. So with the full team back together and hungry for more, we start our preparation for our first game. this kick serve, okay? This is Felipe Barbosa that taught me this serve. Oh. We're still practicing, we're still practicing. Thank you, coach. Let's go wide. Today, we're feeling good. We have coach Felipe with us. Really, this is... Uh, just a great morning to be alive. It's important to remember to be thankful. Thankful for Miguel, who is doing our, uh, our video, for the coaches who come play with us. And just for Southeastern University, really. Just so thankful. I'm going to give some monologues to the camera every once in a while. You're going to sell this, but you're going to go here. Trying to make me believe, like I can tell the whole time you're going over here. You know what I mean? Chase yourself. Can't say I'm tired. Just right from the start when I've, uh, I came here, I felt like a good sense of like belonging and stuff, and that's like really important to me to feel kind of like valued um, on and off the court. So that's been the main thing. And yeah, I guess anyone that sees us train and compete, like it's like a room full of like championship energy. Like everyone's like got that same mindset everyone's got that like hustlers like kind of ambition so we all want it like everyone every one of us and yeah obviously like the weather is like unbelievable Florida is like so nice in such a good area as well close to Universal which is sick for me <laughs> get to go to Harry Potter world whenever I want so but yeah I've absolutely loved it here it's been seriously like a dream come true you're playing doubles right like right on top of that base yeah. don't, don't back up and the closer you get to the big day the more and more locked in we were
jumping either. I don't want to slow this down like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't want it to slow this down like this. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Like, exactly. right, 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 right. Okay, we start slow and like so, try this over. So yeah. One, two, three. S C U. S C U. S C U. S C U. Let's go! That's good. <laughs> For our first match of the season, we were on our way to Tampa to play a scrimmage against St. Louis University. They were ranked 3 in the nation at the time in the NCAA Division 2 level. So with that in mind, we were aware of the tough match that was ahead of us, but confident we could play at their level. After 3 weeks of intense training, we were ready, and this was going to be the perfect opportunity to test our level early on in the season. This is birthday. I want to hear you, even if you, this could be your first college match. Get the nerves out, get the nerves out. Say something, you hit a good serve, let people know, okay? It takes everybody, not just one person, two people, it takes everyone. There's certain people I haven't even heard you yet, so make sure you're well known that you're here, your energy's up, everything's good, but today's an exciting day. Make the most of it, all right? Let's go, boys, let's, all right, go. let's get crazy, let's, let's get it. Let's go! Yeah, right. Time you what are you saying? Only one thing, guys. What time is it? Whose time is it? Let's make first serve. Let's go, first serve. Let's go, first serve. Let's go, first serve. Let's go, first serve. Running fan number one doubles are playing the last match of doubles. They're up 7 6 in a tie break, and with the overall score 1 1, they had the chance here to give us a doubles point. Just like anything, win or lose a doubles point, we gotta switch quick, switch quick. We're in the new mentality, right off the back, we're going right into singles. So we gotta switch it, switch it quick. Don't take anything for granted just because we got the doubles point. Because you know how one big break can mean the whole singles match. So get locked in, get focused in on your singles match, but keep the energy high up. Keep the energy level high, all right? Nice job. Hey, Despite losing the doubles point, St. Leo would raise their level and take all of the six singles matches and ultimately win the match.
with no time to waste, we shifted our focus to the next match, at home, in a very, very cold day. Hey, Kike. You're in the movie. Hi. See you later. Hey. See you later. There he is. Don't rely on the person next to you to get the job done. You get the job done yourself. You be there for that person that's next to you. Alright? Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, this is our first home match. Make it a good one. Sun Conference day one, let's go boy. Up next we were back on the road, but this time on our way to Ave Maria to play the first of our six conference matchups of the season. This one would also be extra important for the rankings, since we were seated 18 and they were 21. So having a good result here was going to be key to maintain our ranking. But getting there wasn't really that easy. Not great. What are you willing to sacrifice out here today? What are you willing to give up? What are you willing to give up for your teammates? Stay locked in. Your yeah. teammates will see that, they'll feed off of that. Yeah. All good? Yeah, Go boys! I just want to say before we start, like these matches, like these, these atmospheres, the nerves, all this stuff is like a huge privilege. Like this is what we yes, want to yes. be. This is what makes you feel alive. Like you're not gonna have this yeah. forever. Yeah. So let's go today. We have this chance. It's hot. It's disgusting. It's gonna be tough. They're gonna Hold be in our move. face. Hold but it. let's Hold go. Let's just battle. Let's break. Break. Sandwiches. It doesn't get better. <laughs> Look at me. Look, this is the face of a sad man. Not happy. Sad. Although losing the doubles point, we were right there. With high energy and intensity, it really seemed like we could pull it through in some opportunities. But soon, things took a different turn. Ave Maria raised their level a bit more, we dropped ours. The pressure of being the favorites and the fatigue of the long day took over. And it didn't take them too long to win four of the six single matches. They made 5 1 and clinched the match. So, yeah, but it wasn't all bad. And number four singles, Diego was in a crazy tight battle in the third and deciding set. After losing the first set 6 4 and winning the second 7 5, the match is already over two and a half hours. It's past 7 p.m. and Diego starts cramping, but he refuses to quit. And at the end, somehow, 
He closes out the third set 7-5 and takes the match. So yeah, we had our first three matches of the season with one win and two losses, which was definitely far from what we were hoping for. But good news is the season was just getting started, and little did we know how soon things were about to change.